What's going on gardeners? On today's two minute garden tip, I'm going to show you my number one secret weapon that I use to put my garden beds to rest at the end of the season, as well as what I use to help speed up the decomposition process when I transition my beds from crop to crop during the growing season. And that secret weapon is a tarp. Seeing garden beds with exposed soil all winter long breaks my heart, and that's because exposing the soil to the elements over long periods of time can have detrimental effects to your garden. You can avoid these detrimental effects by covering your garden soil with a tarp all throughout the period of time that the soil is not in use. Yes, you can use a mulch layer, but I think that the tarp is vastly superior to mulch, and here is why. There are four huge advantages to tarping your soil throughout the period of time that you're not actively growing in it. Number one, it helps protect the top layer of soil from the harsh UV radiation of the sun beating down all winter long. And while the UV index may seem pretty low during the winter, factor in it's beating down on your soil for many hours a day for months and months. And that can help sterilize the top layer of your soil and damage your soil's microbiome, which is no good. Number two, it will artificially increase the soil temperature of your garden soil throughout the winter. A mulch layer, if you were to place it on top of your garden soil, would actually keep it artificially cool. But when we spread this tarp out on top of our garden bed, you're actually drawing in the heat of the sun and you're locking it in. And this is great for your soil microbiome because these bacteria and fungi in your soil that would otherwise go dormant during cool temperatures can stay active due to the added heat. Also, it will help increase the decomposition process because that bacteria and fungi will be more biologically active. Number three, it will prevent the germination of any weed seeds that are already inside your garden soil. Now you probably had fruit drop all throughout the growing season, so there's probably seeds that are mixed inside your garden soil, as well as any kind of grass or weed seeds that naturally blow throughout the air. So when you put that tarp on top, it actually blocks out all of the sunlight and will prevent germination. And because you're actually adding some heat, you also run the chance that you could destroy a great number of the weed seeds by getting it really hot during the day while the sun is beating out on it, and you'll wind up with a lower weed seed bank come the start of spring. Spring. And number four, you will prevent airborne weed seeds from landing on top of your garden soil all throughout the late fall, winter, and early spring. This is something that a mulch layer will not do. Most of the weeds that we get that germinate in our garden are naturally blowing around in the air from various grasses and other types of weeds. So over time, they just land on top of the soil line and germinate. When you tarp your garden soil, you prevent any of those windblown seeds from landing on top of your soil, leading to dramatically less weed seeds that accumulate over the off season. And it's for this reason that I cover up as many of my garden beds as possible with tarps when they are not actively in use. And that's today's two minute garden tip. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell to receive new video notifications and check out our Amazon storefront and spread shop in the video description for a list of the gardening products I use and awesome custom designed apparel and other gear. Your support is greatly appreciated.